Yeah, once again, my name is Chachala. Uh, if you are a professional nurse, if you are an internationally educated nurse, that means if you train outside of Canada, uh, I have a good news for you. Uh, this evening, I made a post on my, I posted something on my wall. Yeah, uh, there is this opportunity. I think this, uh, that started, uh, I think it was a few weeks now, uh, in the province of Alberta. And the province is a very beautiful place and, and they are recruiting uh, internationally educated uh, nurses, mental health nurses and other uh, allied professionals. Okay, so uh, I got uh, the setup and I decided to share that with you. Uh, the government of Alberta, through another agency of them by name AHS or Alberta Health Service, is trying to recruit uh, internationally educated or trained nurses or health professionals for the government of uh, Alberta, okay? So um, what is happening here is that uh, the, the Alberta Health Service, or what we also refer to as the AHS, uh, is one of the largest uh, health uh, sector uh, player, see it that way, in, in, in Alberta. So they are just like, if it's in Ghana, we can say that uh, the Alberta Health Service is like Ghana Health Service, okay? Trying to recruit or employ or having ax or tax by Ministry of Health to recruit trained nurses for them so on their behalf. So that's what the Alberta Health Service is doing, trying to recruit nurses, edu uh, international educated nurses, health professionals for the government of are better okay so um what they are doing is that they have a, a pool what they call they have talent pools where they where you apply okay you apply through these talent pools now if you look at the comments uh, uh, the thing i posted earlier on i share some comments uh, under it I share the first comment, second comment, and third comment under it. Those are all the links to the talent pool. Okay. So what you are going to do is that if you click on that, it opens one open to uh, uh, mental health nurses, so that mental health nurses and addiction, and the other one talks about mental uh, talk about nurses and healthcare aid. All right. So I deliberately posted the three links for you to go through. Now, when you fill the form, what I want to advise is that the form that you are going to fill, please do your best and represent yourself well in the form. Every information about you should go onto the form. Now, the most important of this is at the end of the form, they ask you to upload your resume okay so what i'm suggesting is that make sure whatever resume the resume is what in ghana we call cv or curriculum vitae that's what they are referring to as the resume the resume is going to be the full representative of you okay you are not going to be there to defend yourself so make sure the resume you are submitting is something that can speak on your behalf. And also, make sure that the resume you are submitting is of international standard. If you don't know how that works, just go online and look for resume sample for Canada or for pick any of that for any nurses, resume for new graduate, resume for experienced graduate nurses, Resume for mental health nurses in Canada. Just look online and get a sample. And then tailor your resume or your CV according to the standard of 
the or uh, the Canadian system. Okay, don't post, don't share your CV, your current CV that you have or your resume. Don't send that resume to, or don't attach that resume to the form that you are going to fill. Please, this is very very important. So I advise that let's put our best foot forward. Because the resume is going to represent you, for that matter, make sure that whatever information you are putting on that resume is a true reflection of you. If you don't know how the Canadian resume look like, please, like I said, please and please and please go online. Just type into Google, just type and get a, a, a copy, a sample and design your resume according to whatever area you are going to apply to. Now, if you are filling the form, you see at some point, uh, they will ask you if you are licensed to practice in Canada or you are licensed to practice in Alberta. You say no because you are not licensed. You know that um, for you to practice as a, a nurse or something, you have to go through a lot of processes. Previously, I made a post about uh, NNAS, where they are supposed to evaluate your your credentials and then before they will give a recommendation and then you can take it out from there. But what is happening in this situation is that uh, the government, the better government is more or less taking care of that. So what you have to do is that as you submit this form, make sure that you also start evaluating your credentials using all the agencies available like the word education service or the WES. So if you don't know what that is, when you finish, go online, look for what education service, and then you see what they do. You they uh, actually uh, analyze or they evaluate your qualifications from Ghana or from Nigeria where you're coming from. They evaluate your qualification, okay? And then they will make sure if it tallies with, or if it's, it's, with this, it's the same standard like that of Canada. That's what the uh, the and uh, the World Health Education Service does or the WES does. So make sure that after submitting the form, you start work on making sure that they get you get your qualifications uh, or your credentials assessed. So when you go online and you go and register, you're gonna pay money to those organizations. So. Uh, Alberta is using uh, the word education service. They are using ICAS. Many a time, the ICAS are very good in evaluating your secondary school uh, qualifications. Whereas um, uh, WES or the word education service is good at uh, analyzing or uh, working on your post secondary. That is your nursing training college, your university, blah, blah, blah. And then now, when you are filling the form and they are asking of an RN, if you have BSc, whatever it is, just put in whatever qualification that you have. If you are a diploma holder, don't say because don't say you are not an RN, okay? Because in Ghana, if you are a diploma holder, you are an RN. So the qualification that I give you, the RN, that status of RN, use that qualification. So if you have a BSc, add that to it. So that is. Others have the BSc and then they get the, the RN. Others got their RN through uh, diploma. Is that okay? So those with those who are degree nurses, they got their RN straight with BSc, and those that have diploma nurses, they got their RN with diploma. So put ever uh, put whatever you have there that's going to work for you as your qualification. Put everything on the CV or on your resume okay so after that was filling the form okay you see the place like i was saying earlier on they ask you of your license you say you don't have a license and then they'll ask you if you are eligible to be licensed so you tick that on the form then especially the nurses i think that of the nurses and the mental health uh the psychiatric nurses you see a column that is asking you if you need a sponsorship Okay, if you need a visa sponsorship, so you select, you need a visa sponsorship, select that. So as you go through the thing, take your time, 
observe whatever when make sure you are answering the questions the form you are filling you are providing all the necessary information on the form so if you provide that information on the form then you will submit the form to them and then they will take it out from there like i said you need to be licensed in canada so what uh, the our better health service will do is that when they pick up the form they will go through it and they will screen the form uh, those that are qualified they will push them to the next level so they will push and make sure they will now push and then talk to the college of nursing that is in uh, a better college of nursing any other agency that will help you to license they will get in touch with them and then see what they will do and then they will take it out from there then whatever they will request from you again they will get in touch with you through your email and also make sure you are submitting a working email the email or the email that you can easily be reached on some of us have email address and we can't even remember the password to the email address if you have something like that please then create a new email address create a new email address and make sure that whatever you are going to fill onto this form is something that will work for you now what else will i say again i don't intend making this video very long it's another pathway for internationally trained nurses and other health professionals to get into a better it's a it's a it's a pilot project that a better health system is pulling uh, a better health service is putting up they started that for some couple of weeks ago so do your best especially the most important one is your resume like i said the most important one is the resume and also on the resume please do not use abbreviations okay do not use abbreviations like opd whatever like whatever terms that we have in ghana or we have in our country please do not use those terms because the terms you have in ghana or we have in ghana will be different from what they also use here so i'll prefer that if it is opd just write it in full so whatever you've done just write it just write it in full don't write any short form opd uh, you expect them to know this you know what opd is they, they will not they, because most of the time they don't read the 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 the, the resume something like these machines that does the reading for them so and also the, your resume should not be more i'm saying that it should not be at at most it should not be more than two pages at most it should not be more than two pages if you can make sure you have a resume at one page one page no matter your working experiences whatever it is try and summarize that into one page document at most two pages document please do not submit a resume like what we have in ghana you can have five pages document six pages document resume nobody will have time to read that is that okay make sure whatever resume you have should not be more than two pages at most and minimum should be at least one page so i ask you to go back online check and look for samples of uh international resume standard or canadian resumes uh, uh rn binit and rn a mental health worker so the mental health people if you all of them have been a mental health nurse uh, a general nurse the um, health care i posted that so if you look at the column i posted that on my wall and then after that i pasted the various links to all this area so please make sure you are doing the right thing just follow that link identify whichever area is yours and when you are selecting your category make sure you select the appropriate category is that okay make sure you select appropriate category where you think you are qualified you just submit it if they need a, if it's an rn and they want a bsc rn and you don't have uh, that bsc rn they may push you to the next category if it falls within a diploma 
uh, or RPN or the uh, Lancet Practical Nurse, that's the LPN. If you are within that area, they will put you into that area, depending on what they are looking for. If you are not in that area and they think they will need you for healthcare assistant, they will push you into that area. Is that okay? So, once again, the resume, please 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 make sure you work on your resume your resume is the most important aspect of whatever doc whatever you have that's the only document they ask for at this material moment that is the only document they are asking of that submit only resume so which means that your resume is going to speak volumes about you so whatever information you are going to put on that resume please make sure that resume is a full representation of you. Remember, you will not be there. You will not be there to defend yourself. It is your resume that is going to speak on your behalf. So if you are not there and you send the wrong resume, they will disqualify you. Is that okay? So make sure you work on the resume. Like I said again, please go online, try and identify the Canadian resume or the international resume. Look at it and compare that with ours and then work on them. Okay. In all, all I'm saying is that the Alberta Health System are recruiting or they are trying to pick up a talent from a series of pools for the Alberta government. Now, most of these jobs are going to be uh, around the, the rural area or i will not even call it rural area. let me say smaller towns okay the smaller towns in the province of alberta okay and uh, so most of them are about one hour drive from alberta the city remember smaller towns in this side will not be like smaller town in ghana and you know that okay Smaller town here will not be like smaller town in Ghana. So please, that's a quick information I'm pushing across. I will, uh, in the course of this week, I will work. I will try and uh, get you the form really on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is same name. It is the same name, Chachala. So I just started that channel. So please, my, my nurses, my student nurses, please go to YouTube and look for Chachala, the same name on Facebook, and subscribe whilst I try to work, and I'll bring you that information there and uh, get you how to fill the form if some of you are still running into difficulty. So before then, what you have to do is that follow the link that I shared on the post that I made, click on them, open them, and then fill the one that is for you. One is for nurses and healthcare assistants. One is for mental health nurses. That's mental health and addition. Okay, so go through them. And then I think the one is also for, I think the one is for nurses and healthcare. I think one is also for uh, allied health or something. I can't remember very well. So please go through that. Follow the instruction. If you are not sure, go online so you can go to that site a better health service so you just go to google just type a better health service and they'll get you there and then you can see uh, that whole aspect just go to a better health service and you can get the next information there but actually the the pool uh, the talent pool is not directly under their page okay it's a pilot project that they are doing. So just fill the form, submit them, and then let's see what comes out of it. Okay. So that's what uh, the quick thing I want to say tonight. I know it's lit in Ghana. It's, I think it's around 11, 12 a.m. now. Yes, but uh, I have to come online and quickly get that information across to you. So please follow the post that I made and pick up those links that are shared open those links and then get the necessary information across the most important one is the resume please 
your resume please work on your resume like i said do not abbreviate things in the resume okay do not abbreviate things in your resume so um i want you to go through the, the the go through the forms fill the form and submit the form and let's see so like i said where are the down there where they are going to ask you if you need a if you have a license say no you don't have a license but you are eligible okay you are eligible and also when they ask you uh if you need uh if they ask you see a column that asks of where you are staying or that asks if you need a uh, if you are for some, if you are assigned in canada so say that select you need sponsorship so you see that sponsorship column there select that click on the pull down okay and then just do your best and connect to that side and fill the form and submit the form and also please make sure you are submitting a correct or an appropriate email a working email the email that you can easily access and fast like i said earlier on so based on that i think you should be able to uh, once you get the information through you get the thing submitted they will go through it and then they'll move it to the next stage and then they will not deal with your registration issues but either you like it or not you find a way out here you start working and then you prepare and then you write the licensing exam depending on whatever they are trying to do prescribe but you cannot practice fully they might give you a temporary something for you to work whilst you prepare for your uh, your anklets because you might not you will not be able you can't practice in canada without an anklets okay so go through the forms and let's see so once again i said please i'm begging you i beg of you i do beg you make sure your cv or your resume the resume make sure you do your best on that resume okay like i said that is going to represent you do your best okay so i wish you all the best and i'll be following up on that like i said i'll be doing other extensive uh, uh, youtube video so please you follow me on my youtube like i said i just started the youtube channel you follow me on my youtube video uh, i'll be working on these videos and i'll put them onto my youtube channel where i could explain more or throw some more light on whatever we are trying to look for so please uh once again on the youtube channel the name again is chachala so you just take the name that is on facebook you go to the youtube is chachala and i think on my tiktok too is also chachala so please uh, let's uh, so my students uh, my former nursing students please rally around subscribe and then let's share our thought and i will bring you any information that has to do with uh internationally trained nurses and health professionals i will bring that information to you as at when i get access to them as at when something comes around i'll be providing you adequate information on that so please go through that whole thing uh go through the form and then submit the form please all they ask for is your resume do not attach certificate they didn't ask you for certificate all they ask for is that submit your resume like i said after you finish submitting that document please start working on how to uh, get your credentials assessed through west that's the world education service and also through ICAS. So please do your best. Go online, use your phone, whatever you use, and get adequate information about how you can get your credentials assessed. All right? So just do your best. Okay? So I wish you all the best. Uh, once again, I remain your roaming ambassador. My name is Chachala. Thank you very much. Bye-bye and good night.